Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. If you're looking for the easiest way to install IPA files on your iPhone running the latest iOS 18, you're in the right place. Today, I'll show you the latest method using eSign and the latest new DNS setup. No PC, no jailbreak, just a quick and smooth process. So, let's get started. First of all, open this website and then hit on the DNS. Now, hit on the Rice Hub DNS v1. Then hit download and then hit allow to download the profile. Now open the settings and then open the downloaded profile. Then hit install to install the profile in your iOS device. Now open the same website again. Then hit on the signer downloads. Then scroll down and then hit one of the eSign link to download the eSign app in your iOS device. After hitting eSign link, then simply hit install to install eSign app in your iOS device. Once your eSign app is installed, now simply go to setting, then open general, then open VPN and device management. Then open the Enterprise app, and then trust the developer app. If you are in iOS 17, then simply trust will do the job. But if you are on iOS 18, then it will show you allow and restart. But before restarting the device, just enable the airplane mode. Once airplane mode is on, now simply go and trust the developer app, and then hit allow and restart. Then after your device restart, then simply hit install profile to let eSign app work in your iOS device. After restart the phone, now you will see that the, the eSign app will start working. Now simply open Safari app and then simply download the eSign certificate zip file. I will put all the downloads link in the description. After downloading the eSign certificate zip file, now simply open the eSign app and then hit on top three dots and then hit import. Then select the downloaded eSign certificate zip file. Once you have eSign certificate zip file in your eSign app, now simply hit on it and then hit unzip. Then you will have new eSign certificate folder with all the certificates. Now hit on the same name certificate you have used to download the eSign app. In my case, it was Anband Insurance. Then hit on import certificate management. Once it shows the certificate imported successfully, now you are good to install any IPA file in your iOS device. Now simply download the IPA file you want to install, then open eSign app, then hit on three dots, then hit import, and then select your IPA file and then hit import. Once it imported successfully, now hit on apps and then hit on your IPA file and then hit signature and then hit signature again. Once it signed 100%, now simply hit install to install your IPA file in your iOS device. But you will see that your IPA file will install and will work properly without any problems. Now, one of the most common issues people face with apps like eSign is getting revoked. 
This means the app you installed suddenly stops working because the certificate used to sign it gets blacklisted by Apple. But don't worry, there are ways to avoid revocation. Here are some tips to avoid getting revoked. First, use the DNS method. Like I showed you earlier, the DNS setup can help keep your apps working longer by redirecting Apple certificate checks. Second, install only necessary apps. The more IPA files you sign and install, the higher the chances of revocation. So only install apps you really need. Third, turn on airplane mode. After signing and installing an app, you can turn on airplane mode when using the app. This prevents the app from trying to verify the certificate with Apple. Okay, but what if you do get revoked or even blacklisted on eSign? No worries, I've got you covered with these steps. First of all, remove the revoked app. Second, use a different certificate. If nothing works, consider using alternative signing methods like Scarlet, Alt Store, or waiting for a fresh certificate rotation on eSign. And if you're still blacklisted or keep getting revoked, make sure to clear any old certificates from your iPhone and reinstall eSign with the latest DNS setup. Or the last thing you can do, just back up your data on iCloud or PC and then simply reset your device and then try again the same method. And that's it. You've successfully installed IPA files on iOS 18 with the latest eSign method and latest DNS setup. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.